Do you daydream a lot? Hello, I'm Coach Lance Meyer of Grass Ministries, a partner ministry with the City for God. And today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about transitions and change in your life. I do spend a pretty fair amount of time daydreaming. And I also sometimes talk to myself. And this may seem a little strange, but... I think it's a really good therapy, actually, and a very good uh, way to get your brain around your thoughts and get your, your thoughts collected. And having dreams, having a clear picture uh, where you're going, especially if you have a lot of transition or, or change going on in your life. One of the things that is really important is the ability to vision your future and see uh, putting positive things into your brain, for example. So as I look at uh, a couple of these pieces of art behind me, they're pretty windy and twisting and uh, there's a lot of stuff going on, just like life, right? So I want to just take a moment and talk about the word ideal. And one of the things that my ma my art mentor has shared with me and many others in a recent book that he uh, just published actually a couple days ago. And I was also able to attend a conference where he shared just the word ideal. And that is being in touch with your identity. Having a, being in touch with your design, knowing how God has made you. Also expanding what you're doing. So in Grass Ministries, we're working on connecting with different organizations, different groups. We're working at expanding the paintings that we're doing, uh, expanding my art skill, uh, expanding reach of who our audience is. Uh, all those things are expansion. We also talk about alignment, and that would be aligning with God, right? Listening to his, his word, listening to his voice. And then finally, love. Uh, having a loving heart, finding ways to love others, uh, finding ways to, to, yeah, in a good way, love our God and love ourselves. Uh, these are these are important things, forgiving ourselves for the times that we've fallen short and forgiving others who maybe have hurt us. Those are all part of IDEA. I want to just close you today with a verse and a little bit of an activity, again, with the uh, a breathing activity that will help you just kind of daydream and vision, vision your future. Uh, through the various challenges and working through transitions. So here's the verse today from from Proverbs chapter 3. It's a familiar verse. Verse 5, Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all of your ways, submit to him and he will make your paths straight. Let me close you with this breathing exercise. You just kind of take this all in and breathe out all the negative. Here we go. Breathe in. Pray this is a blessing to you as you face change, transition, and challenges in your life. God bless you today.